Hi, Jeff Spinks here from the University of Wollongong. Lately, I've become fascinated by this little gadget that I bought online. It's called Dr. Johnson's Clean Heat Engine, and it uses a coil spring made out of shape memory alloy to convert a temperature difference into continuous mechanical motion. Following the instructions, first of all, I fill the blue tank with cold water and then the red tank with hot water. Next, I wrap the shape memory alloy spring around the pulleys. And now I simply insert the legs of the engine into the two tanks. With a little coaxing, off it goes. The key to the engine is the shape memory alloy material. Here we have a coiled spring that is formed into a loop. When stretched at room temperature, the material stays stretched because in this state it has a low yield stress. When heated above a particular temperature, the deformation is rapidly and fully recovered. For continuous operation, the loop of shape memory alloy must be cyclically stretched and then contracted by heating. The engine uses these gears to do the stretching. The pulley attached to the smaller gear rotates faster than the pulley with the larger gear. This means that the wire spring passing over the smaller gear is stretched. So when the shape memory alloy comes out of the cold water bath, it is stretched by the fast moving small geared pulley. It then enters the hot water bath where it contracts and pulls the next section of spring around the small gear pulley and the process repeats. So the gear ratio is really important. I'm interested in playing around with different gear ratios to see how the performance of the heat engine changes. Ultimately, I'd like to replace the expensive shape memory alloys with one of our much cheaper twisted and coiled polymer fibre artificial muscles. Look out for our next video to see our updates.